Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So today I'm going to be answering the question that I think most of you are wanting to ask me. And um, before I do that, I'm going to tell you guys what's up. So <laughs> there's a new package in the game. If you guys played the game, it's not actually not out in the game yet, but they already announced it. It's not even in the notice. But the package is very simple. You, It's a package unlike the bonus package here. It's a package that you can buy with your astrogems and it costs 400 astrogems and you can buy it multiple times. So what this is, it's basically you spend 400 astrogems to buy a package that contains a fire succubus. Now this doesn't sound like too much. It, it has a fire succubus and like 300,000 gold. Um, it doesn't sound like much, but if you buy the package 15 times, it gives you a free dark succubus and a dark gleam. Now, the Dark Gleam, they said that it's only going to be usable um, for this event. And they're going to be introducing a fusion where you can fuse the Dark Succubus and the Dark Gleam into a Light Succubus. And then you get 15 Succubus from buying the packages. So basically, um, and then you get the gold as well. So the, the whole reward of doing this is it gives you a free... Um, well, not a free, but like, it gives you... You spend... You spend uh, a total of 6,000 astrogems for an Evil 3 Light Succubus. Now, the question you guys probably all want to ask me is, is this worth it? Is it worth it to spend 6,000 astrogems to get this monster? Now, let me put this into perspective for you guys. Um, 6,000 astrogems is the equivalent of 10 summons. With 10 summons, you can summon 5 times in 2 Heroes Festivals and get 4 guaranteed Nat 5s. Now, would, would, the co would, would this monster, like with the whole, um, would the use, usefulness of this monster justify its cost of sacrificing 4 Nat 5s, possibly maybe like 8 Nat 4s and a whole bunch of 3 stars um, for an Evil 3 Light Succubus? Like that's basically what she is going, going to cost. And the answer is, the answer is it's complicated, all right? The answer is it's complicated. If you want to ask me if I'm going for it, then I'm going to have to tell you that, yes, I'm going for it. I'm, I don't have a lot of gems. I do have some, some gold um, that I can transfer into gems and then continue farming maybe for five more days. And I should be able to maybe possibly make it to 6,000. I'm not too sure. Um, but... I'm going to talk a little bit about this monster and what she can be used for. So, this light succubus, um, why am I going for her? She really only has one use in the game. She has one single... Well, you can use her for other things, but there are other monsters that excel more. Um, there's one area in the game that she excels at, and that is PvP defense. You, If you take a look at the Astromon League ranking, you'll see like the top two players um, are indeed using her on defense. I'm not sure if any of the other players actually do even have her um, or if they're running her. But she's definitely a really, really strong monster. Like just looking from judging from this alone, you know that she's a, an excellent monster for um, PvP defense. And if you're theory crafting, you know like you know she's boosting bars, healing, light base, tanky, you know, everything you need on a on a defense monster um, for PvP. Now what is would it be worth it? to get a monster that even if she is like, you know, one of the best monsters that you can use for PvP defense, is she worth sacrificing around 8 nat 4s and 4 nat 5s for? Um, this is hard. Like, I, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about uh, what you can do in PvP defense. If you make it, with the whole introduction of the new random battles, if you make it through your random battles and, uh, you know, just do it maybe once every little while that you remember. By the end of the week, you will be able to make it to the top rank, which is um, Heroes 1. Because of the how the points stack up, you know? Because you only get, you get 20 points every single time you win. And every time you lose, you only lose 5 points. So, basically, if you're winning most of your matches, then you will eventually reach this point. Now this is for the very very late game because early game if you're if you don't have strong monsters you obviously can't beat a lot of the defenses that um, they put up. So you need to have a team of strong monsters. You need to have strong gems. You need to have a lot of things in order to reach that point of the game. Now I don't know how hard it is. Um, 
but I like to to get there because you know obviously I don't have your monster box I don't have the exact monsters that you're using I only have the monsters that I'm using so um, it, it, it did, did take me quite a few months to get the, get to this point so I think I can safely say that the majority of the player base are not at this point of the game yet and um, she might not be all that helpful for you if you're trying to progress or anything like that. So that's definitely something that's not, I don't think is really meant for the majority of the player base. Um, it might actually be for like just hardcore players, late game players, and it's just really interesting that they're they're putting, they're letting the monster be available for astrogens. So being accessible to players that are maybe don't spend money but play the game like a lot um, I'm gonna have to tell you guys that for most of you guys it's not worth it it's definitely not um, worth the price of 6,000 astrogens for for most people because um, you get f like eight nat fours you get like four nat fives for the same exact price if you think of it in terms of like Heroes Festival, um, and basically, if I were to go for this, I would not have no gems left over for the Heroes Festival. There is no way I will be able to um, participate in the next Heroes Festival if I were to go for this package. Now, I'm not even too sure that I can I can make it to 6,000 Astro gems in five days. Sounds like an impossible task, but. Um, the the funny thing is I it actually forced me to like I, I got another 15 day pack um, the moment I I heard about it and yeah it kind of it kind of like forced me to spend a little bit of money for for players that are like on the edge of spending a little bit of money definitely pushed them over the edge with this with this package and I think they did it in a really smart way so uh, if you want the the short answer I I'll tell you for most people it's not worth it it's not it's only it's only for people that um, either want to be serious in PvP or want a strong PvP team so they can get uh, like a strong PvP defense so, so they can spend less time doing actual arena to make it to Heroes 1 to get that 700 Astro Gems. Now I think in the long run it does pay off for me because if I can get a stronger defense every single week then I spend less time actually doing the arena and I spend more time farming. Um, and it adds up, you know, if you do a lot of arena matches, like if I had to do 20 or 30 more arena matches, the time of the whole arena matches um, that I'm doing, plus the effort that I have to put in into manualing the arena match, you know, it does actually add up. So I think, I think for me, she's going to be very, very useful, mainly because I don't have much use of um, a lot of the nat fours in the game. I have, I have a lot of, uh, like, I think I have a lot of strong monsters already, and a lot of the monsters that I want to use are already Evil 3, so I don't really need to worry too much about um, summoning for more Nat 4s. And it's not like I won't be able to summon any more Nat 4s, because if I'm farming for golems and stuff, making gold, I will still be able to get eggs and stuff. So it's not like I completely cannot summon at all, you know, for the whole entire for a whole entire month in order to get this. Um, so I think there's a balance. You just basically just you weigh your options of, you know, do I need this monster uh, for this one specific task? Am I at that, that point of the game yet, or will I be at that point of the game, or can I make it through my part of the game right now? Because I know this monster is going to be very very good later on, um, and then you just weigh all these things together and make your decision. I really can't make your decision for you because they're both really good choices. Like. I can't. I don't know what Nat fives are you gonna pull. It's like with the with the whole Heroes Festival thing. It's like a gamble. You don't know what you're gonna get, but for this, you know exactly what you're gonna gonna get for the price. Um, and I think the developers did in in quite a. I think they did in a really good way, because this doesn't directly tell you that you need to spend money in order to get it. It actually just tells you that, you know, you could spend money to get it. And I think that's actually something that's really smart because you can, 
if you put a package out like this, like say for example, they put up a succubus package, um, it would be the equivalent of, of like 6,000 astrogems. And maybe since it's a real package, it might be cheaper, so it costs $50. Um, and you think, oh, I can spend $50 for a light succubus. Is it worth it? Or um, they do it with the, this method where they, they let you use currency that you can get in game to try to get it. And they're telling you that you could spend money if you want to get it. Um, and if you want, want to get this, plus want to participate in the Heroes Festival, you're probably not going to be able to do it with just the resources that you make in the game. So either you either have to make sacrifices or you have to spend money, you know. And then they, they let you weigh those two options. Um, I think choice is always good. Like being able to make a choice is always good. They don't, like no, I think Monster Super League did a really good job in not forcing you to have to, um, have to pay or anything in order to be competitive. I don't think I'm the strongest player, but I think that I do actually have the potential to actually compete with the whales, like even in arena. I think I have the potential if I um, go at it, maybe for a few more months, there there might actually be a point where I, where I catch up and, you know, being able to actually be competitive and start competing with the whales with just my, just my farming, just my, um, just pure diligence really. Uh, so, yeah, I gotta say, I gotta say, they're as a company, they're doing a pretty good job. Like just with the with this this whole introduction of the package, with the introduction of the Heroes Festival, because obviously companies want to make money, but they're doing it in a really good way. They're doing it in a really smart way. They're they're encouraging to you to spend, but they're not doing it in a way where they like take away anything that you you have. They do it by introducing more things that you can get um, but then you don't even have to get it with real money you can actually get it through hard work if you play the game enough like you play the game hardcore enough or you can spend money to get it or you can do a combination of the two um, you know a balance of the two which is what I'm what I'm doing so I think that they're doing a pretty good job with this um, you might disagree with me but I <laughs> What, what can I say? I, I, I really like this game, and um, I really like a lot of the choices that the developers have made for this game, so there's that. If they ever touch the sliming thing, I will quit, alright? I will just straight out just quit. I'll be like, I'm done. Like, you guys are... <laughs> this this is this is no. Like, just don't touch my sliming. Um, don't, 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 don't touch my slimes. Okay, so we're gonna do some summons and do some rebirths for the, the, the new event. I didn't talk about the, the whole wheel thing event. I don't even know what it's called. Roulette or something. I don't think it's called roulette. But basically you summon, you rebirth and stuff for it. And I need to be a little bit careful. I'm gonna have to tell you guys I can't go ham anymore. Um, I can't just do whatever I want now, at least for the next five days. I need to be really strict with my resources and I still need to participate in this event because it actually can give me astrogems and, and energy back and I have to do it if I want to make it before the end of the month um, and get the, get to 3000 points. So if I do fusion or do rebirth I get or I get 50 points if I summon one time. Oh, normal summons don't count, right? So only rebirths count. So every time I do a rebirth I can get 50 points. Now I have about, I have about, um, let me just check really, really quick. I should probably take a screenshot and like just put it as my desktop so I can remember. Fusion is 20. Um, perform Rebirth is 50. Summon Soulstone is 50. Okay. So now how did I get 30 points? Because I've never summoned one, summoned anything in the special shop. How the actual hell did I get 30 points? I'm really confused. Like this, this number is not possible. It's only possible if I do this and then summon from the shop, but I've never summoned from the special shop. Unless, unless the free summon counts. Oh, these ones count. Oh, oh, that makes, that makes a lot more sense. If I think about it like that. So basically four rebirth a day. I need to do four rebirth a day in order to get the full 
um, 200 points. Or I can do two fusions and like three rebirths a day. That could work as well. So since we need to rebirth, I'm going to be summoning a few so I can actually have some materials to rebirth. Ooh, nice. I got a wood Victoria. It's actually really awesome because, um, yeah, I need to eventually get my light Victoria to evil three. That, that's one less fusion I have to do. Oh man, so many rebirth materials. I can't, I can't use these for, or not rebirth materials, fusion materials. I can't use these for rebirth. All right, monkey, I can definitely use for rebirth. Same thing with Fibians. Man, another Siren. You know, I'm starting to think that I should keep the bets. Like, at, at some point I will need to focus on clan battles after I'm done with like Arena and stuff and I have nothing else to work on. Start raising a whole entire army of bets. Oh, another lightning. Nice, I got a Loki. Just uh, 11 more until I can get mine to evil 3. Oh, nice, another lightning. Ooh, ooh, I got a variant banshee. Ooh, I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting very long for this. I've been waiting very long for a variant banshee. I, I knew I was going to get one someday. I just didn't know that it was today. Hmm, so many lightnings today. Ooh, nice, another another Loki. Alright, ten more Lokis until I get, get an Evo 3. Alright, alright, it's a Gator. Okay, a Hunter. Now, um, with the whole event going on, and not me not maybe not being able to get enough monsters, I'm thinking, I'm considering of uh, using the Hunters for Rebirth, because I need to do it enough times to com complete the event. It's the most gold efficient way, because I don't think I can afford to do fusion right now. Like, this is way too expensive. Um, so... Let me just, let me just check the... Let me just shove everything that I cannot use in storage. And possibly I'll start using Hunters if I don't have enough to do four Rebirths today. Because I need to do four Rebirths every single day in order to make this work. So just need to... No Sirens, no... No Sirens, that's it. Oh, no Mihos either. I need the Mihos for my third Dark Miho. Um, yeah, if I don't have enough, then I should keep this Fire Breath. It has two square slots. Okay, I, I should... I need to do at least uh yeah i need to do th four rebirths in order to make the points work or i can do another small fusion yeah i only need to do three rebirths then today because i can do another small fusion and that can that can count as 10 points or 20 points so yeah we'll, we'll, we'll try it I'm, my math is bad i can't count so i'm, I'm just do it when i run out i'll go I'll grab more monsters all right <laughs> This water bed slot sucks, so I'm just gonna feed it. Okay, that's 50 points. Now, if I run out, I think I might start using the hunters. Oh, I can't use that. And I forgot to put these two in storage. Yeah, I'm gonna start using the hunters. Like I, I can't afford to save them. It's, uh, it's too hard. If I want to make it for this, this point event, I don't think I can afford to save the hunters. Uh, I have more important priorities right now than doing that. So I'm just going to go grab like two more. Um, I'm just going to go grab a few more hunters from my, my storage. 
Yeah, one, three more. And then this this should be able to get me one rebirth. Oh, I have a Coteen, but I don't have a Wood Beth. I can make a Wood Siren. And then that should give me 30 points as well. Man, everything I do has to be super careful now. I can't afford to waste any resources. It's just, uh... It's pretty insane. Okay, I just... I grab a Wood Beth from storage. And hope it's not one with, like, a lot of squares. Damn, this thing's, this thing's double square too. I'm trying to keep all the ones with square slots because most most of um, the gems I get are square. So anything that doesn't have a, like this one only has one square, so I can I can probably use this one. And then this one I'll lock because it has like two squares. And then I can use this to to do the star infusion. Ooh, this this actually costs quite a lot of gold. Damn, why is everything so expensive? Okay, I should have 200 points now if the event didn't bug out. I'm gonna roll and see what I get. Wait, wrong one. This event. Alright, give me an egg, which I guess is not the most useful. Come on, I need, I need gold or astro gems. Six star gem chest. Interesting. Maybe it's a shitty gem, I can sell it for a lot of gold. Ooh, I got dragon sigils, three of them. And this event's not bad. Wait, it gave me a lot of boxes. Oh yeah, both of these are 6-star gems. Let's see what I get. Nice. Four substats. I can sell that shit for lots of gold. Alright. That was at least... That, that other one was not that good. It was almost perfect, though. This one's going to sell for quite a lot. Yeah, 30... 34k. Perfect. I'll sell I'll sell those gems at another time when I when I actually do find them. Um But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I only have like one more egg I can summon from this. Might as well pop it. Might get lucky. Never know. Alright, so I'm just gonna wait for tomorrow to do four rebirths and I'll just keep doing this um during these five days. And then afterwards, I can go crazy. But for now, I need to be a little bit more conservative. Anyways, um, back to hardcore grinding. Back to, back to real life. All right. Um, so, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, this uh, this helped you guys out a little bit. And it's back to, back to the grind. Oh shit! Wait, why did I turn it off? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.